was Father's Day, and my brother couldn't make it sadly, but me, mum and dad went across the bridge into Wales to visit the Brecon Mountain Railway. This is a two foot narrow gauge line, and of which there are many in Wales, but this one's a bit different because they very keenly run American locomotives. And it goes from just outside of Merthyr Tidfield, from Pant Station. Nothing to do with underwear or trousers. Pant is the Welsh name for a hollow or a valley. At Pant Station you will find the locomotive workshops, which you can go and have a look. Mum thinks she's out of shot there. Not quite. In the shed we found locomotive number one, which is named Santa Teresa. This one was built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia in 1897. It had two owners in Brazil, first the Mogiana Railway, and then the Santa Teresa Sugar Mill, which is obviously where it got its name. Apparently in 1990 it was brought over to the UK and given restoration, but to a very poor standard, so it was abandoned and then the Bracken Mountain Railway bought it in 2002, gave it a complete rebuild, and got it working to a decent standard in 2019. Press yep. Also to be seen in Pant Station is a G-scale model railway. Right, let's go wait for our train. There were three trains running. It was 11 a.m., 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. We chose to get the middle one. So this is around about 20 minutes to one, seeing the first train complete its journey. Engine number two was also built by Baldwin in Philadelphia but quite a bit younger than the first one. 1930 it was built. And it worked for the Eastern Province Cement Company in South Africa until 1973 when it ran away without a driver and crashed. And it was considered a write-off by the insurance company. And so it was salvaged by the Brecon Mountain Railway, who rebuilt it between 1993 and 97. And if you look at it, it's in stunning condition. It's like new. I really wanted to take it home with me.
The railway are actually building two more locomotives from scratch, both from Baldwin Designs. One a 262 similar to number one, and the other one a Forney type locomotive, a 244. Now this day was a bit of a warm up for me, because being a fan of American trains, in July I'm heading over to the US and travelling between Salt Lake City and Denver where I'm going to be making lots of videos on trains, mainly of the Rio Grande but other stuff as well. So if you're interested please make sure you're subscribed and see what I get up to.
goes for three miles, following alongside the reservoir to the left, up into its highest point of Torpanto. Here is the first key point on the line, Ponstikil. We go straight through here on the way up, but we do stop on the way back.
So we've reached the end of the line, Torpanto, which to me sounds like mock Spanish for if you've ripped your trousers. <coughs> oh, problemo, Torpanto. We stopped here for only 15 minutes, I think, just while the engine changed ends before taking us back, but there was just enough time to enjoy the views and to check out the caboose. How cool is that? keeping in theme with the American locomotive.
now we're back at Ponce Kill Station. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. We stop here for 35 minutes. Where we can look across the reservoir. And also there's a cafe for refreshments. Going for tea or what? Well, let's have a look. Oh, um, what does that sign say? Tea. Well, beautifully kept rolling stock, a very enjoyable scenic line, and very friendly staff, they were excellent. We very much enjoyed our trip on the Bracken Mountain Railway. Now please, have a look at my channel, see what other videos I've got. There's other train trips and model railways and large scale model trains as well, hence the name of the channel, Big Train Guy. But also please join me to see what adventures I get up to in America next month, it is going to be awesome and I want to share it. But yeah, please subscribe, please like, leave a comment too. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.